We all know how stressful and labor-intensive a self-tape audition can be. You prepare your performance, then you set up your lights, your backdrop, your camera, you get a reader, you film the audition, and edit it. Now this process often takes about four to six hours, sometimes longer depending on the scene. And when you're finally happy with your finished product, you upload it to casting networks, sometimes moments before the deadline, and then you get an error message that you don't have enough storage to upload the file. Panic sets in as the deadline approaches. You try compressing the file and re-uploading, but the not enough storage message persists. So your only alternative seems to be upgrading your account, but you're still in financial arrears from 2023's 100 day strike, or you simply don't want to upgrade under duress. And it's enough to make you want to throw this entire industry in the trash. This is the reality many of my actor friends, myself included, have been experiencing lately with Casting Network's new three-tier price plans that are costly and limit storage space. So we're feeling the squeeze and it seems like nobody cares that these actor submission companies are taking advantage of us. I mean, we shouldn't have to pay to host our actor materials to submit for jobs or to upload self-tape auditions, but Casting Networks is trying to justify their new rates by offering what they claim to be valuable perks. But many of us don't find these perks worthy of the increased pricing. Now, let me break down the three-tier plan model. There's the basic plan, which is free, but only offers only 350 megabytes of media storage. There's the essential plan, which is $9.99 a month, offering one gigabyte of media storage and unlimited submissions. And then there's the premium plan, $29.99 a month, offering 3.5 gigabytes of media storage and unlimited submissions. Now, I don't feel it's fair to be forced into paying $30 for the premium plan in an effort to find a better way to manage casting profile. So I'm gonna share how I found a simple way to make good use of the basic free plan and the essential $9.99 a month plan. But before we go into that, I wanna talk about who needs Casting Network's membership? Who needs it? I wanna talk about the recent class action lawsuit against Casting Networks. Then I'll break down the new rates in their three tier plans. And I will share the four best ways to use the basic and essential plans. Now I encourage you to watch the entire video, but if you'd like to skip ahead, click on the timestamps below this video to scrub to the section that interests you the most. But be sure to stay to the end where I'm gonna show you my Casting Networks profile and demonstrate how I set up the essential plan with my resume, multiple headshots, two reels, and still have enough space for self-tape uploads. Acting lessons learned. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Tawana Floyd. I help actors advance their careers by offering tips on overcoming obstacles. So who needs a Casting Networks membership? Well, the only people who need a Casting Networks membership are the people who are pursuing a career in commercials or people who are interested in submitting for commercials, background work, print jobs, web series, promos, and similar opportunities. If theater, film, and television is your sole focus, you need an Actors Access account instead. And I have a link above to help you set up that Actors Access profile. Now, if you have a commercial agent, they will typically host your Casting Network's basic account for free. But still, you have to be mindful of the basic, the basic plan's 350 megabyte media storage limit when uploading media like headshots, reels, self-tape auditions. The agent uses Casting Networks to submit your commercial auditions. So suppose you want the ability to self-submit on Casting Networks, as most of us do. In that case, you'll need to pay for the essential or premium plans, which include unlimited submissions. But I'm here to steer you clear of the premium plan if you don't really need it and I'm going to show you how I use the essential plan towards the end. Now I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you that actors won't have the same access to principal commercial audition roles as agents and managers. Casting directors release those roles to agents only but still there are a few occurrences when principal commercial roles show up for actors on casting networks. You should also know that there are multiple profiles. So if you're represented by an agent, both an agent and a manager, they will have separate profiles on you. Additionally, you can have a separate personal profile to submit your jobs from your, for yourself, and you don't have to worry about your representative seeing your submissions because they have no ties to your personal profile 
unless you give them access, but you don't need to. But before we go any further, let's celebrate the group of actors who filed a class action lawsuit against casting networks over alleged pay to play tactics. Did you know about this? On April 16th, The Hollywood Reporter released an article stating that performers alleged that casting networks violated a California law related to charging actors for employment opportunities and other laws pertaining to fraud and unfair competition. Now, the complaint filed in the Los Angeles Superior Court claims that the pay for play model violates a California law protecting performers from predatory practices in Hollywood. This law prohibits charging fees for submitting headshots, reels, or additional audition materials. And the complaint alleges that the company illegally commercialized, gatekept, and exerted complete control of the casting process by tying the ability to pay for auditions with casting opportunities. So I applaud those actors for doing something because this entire situation is ludicrous. And I won't go into the article too deep, but I will leave a link in the description if you wanna read it. And I'll also leave a link to the class action suit as well. So here are some important things to keep in mind. The three tiers that were previously available for viewing on the Casting Network's website have been removed. However, I have a screenshot of the previous tiers from a month ago. Since the rates are not listed on the website, I cannot say with certainty that they will honor the screen grabbed rate sheet I'll show. So I strongly advise that before you make any changes to your Casting Network's account, or if you're registering for the first time, that you contact Casting Networks directly to inquire about all the options they offer. Now you can call them directly, but I always prefer to use the chat box in the lower left-hand corner of the screen, and it will give you an email feed that you can always have proof of correspondence. Currently, the premium plan is the only option listed on Casting Networks. Even after I registered a fake new account, the only offer was a free trial of the premium plan. Now, if the trial is not canceled before it ends, this could lead to unintended charges of $29.99 or $299, depending on how you use the trial. So if you choose to use the trial, set an alert in your phone a few days before the trial ends and cancel it. If you have an existing month-to-month -month plan with Casting Networks and you wish to downgrade to the basic or the essential plan, you should be able to do so by following these steps. Click on your name in the right top hand corner, go to your account settings, membership and billing, click the downgrade button. Now beware that downgrading will erase your entire profile. Still, all your photos and videos will remain in your media bin and can be re-added with the click of a button. It's a pain in the butt, but it's still there. And if you have an annual membership, you may not be able to downgrade until it's about to expire. And if you don't catch it in time, your membership will be automatically renewed for whatever price you paid before, because you kind of get grandfathered in. So keep track of your membership expiration date, expiration date to avoid unexpected charges. Now this happened to me. Casting Networks automatically renewed my premium account for 247 before it expired. And after a few persistent emails back and forth and a threat to report them to the Office of Consumer Affairs, they finally credited my account in full. Although I had to set up my profile all over again, but saving an extra $20 a month is worth the hassle. And it's easier than it seems. Okay, so let's get to the three tiers that are no longer listed on Casting Networks. This is the pricing list that was on the Casting Networks website back in May. The three tiers are free, essential, and premium. However, now they're not even showing you free or essential on the website. And I'm going to show you a slide after this one where you don't even see essential. So let's go over this really quickly. The free, the basic is really what it's called. It's $0 a month and you get a free profile and resume. You can browse roles on casting billboard, receive and confirm audition media requests, create and receive notifications for saved searches, and you can store up to 350 megabytes of swappable media. Meaning whether you post headshots, reels, self-tape auditions, you have up to 350 megabytes, megabytes and you have to swap that out to maintain that space. However, they have this 21 day retention rule, meaning that you cannot take down or delete 
any videos until after 21 days. So now let's go to Essential. Essential is $9.99 a month. Uh, I believe it's like $8 a month if you pay for the year. This is the plan that I'm currently using. I get everything that's in free. However, instead of 350 megabytes of swappable media, I'm getting one gigabyte of swappable media. I also get unlimited role submissions on Casting Billboard, and that means I can self-submit myself. And then I can connect with agents and managers through Talent Scout. Now, this service at this moment is not launch, has not launched yet. I'm thinking it's something equivalent to Actors Access Talent Link, where you can pay for the service to have your profile sent to agents and managers, and agent and managers can agents and managers can reach out to you if they're interested in you to set up a meeting, and hopefully maybe you'll sign with an agent. That's what I'm thinking this is. Now let's move on to premium. Now I showed you earlier that the premium was $29.99, but last month it was $25.99, and in the next slide you will see that it's $29.99. So this includes every everything in the essential except for one gigabyte you'll get 3.5 gigabytes of storage currently unrestricted so I'm guessing that means that there's no 21 day restriction on that however it's current so that could change whenever they decide. You can also view all completed media requests in your audition. So that means that I believe whether it's an in-person audition or a self-tape audition, anything that any audition that you receive through casting networks, you will be able to see the status of that audition, which if you're not in the casting room, you have no idea what's going on in casting. So I think for me, it would make me go into a downward spiral. And you can also track your submissions with Roll Tracker. And I should be able to show you a sample of what that looks like when I show my profile. I don't have the premium, so it's not gonna give me full access to it, but I'm pretty sure that it's listed there and we can at least kind of get an idea of what it looks like. Now let's go into the next slide. Okay, so this is what's most recently posted on the Casting Network's website right now. I pulled this screenshot on June 16th, 2024. And up here at the top, it says it was five days ago. So they're only posting free and premium. And then you can see the contrast of what the two offer. But there is no essential listed at all. But I wrote them a letter and here's what the response was. As I tried to figure out what happened to the essential plan, I'm still on it, but it's nowhere to be found. So I sent Casting Networks an email asking them, as you see at the bottom, have you discontinued the essential plan? If not, how do I sign up for it? And they responded the next day. Thanks for reaching out. The essential plan was intended to be an introduction to some of the benefits of casting networks for those new to our platform, but who had outgrown the restrictions of the free plan. The essential plan came with certain restrictions. However, those restrictions were not working. This resulted in frustrated customers. We are now changing that model, and to accommodate changing that, we need to make some changes to the structure of our memberships over the coming months. Our middle-tier membership, Essential has been paused for members as we evaluate and make adjustments to our offerings. Please let me know if you have any other questions. The Essential is not available right now. But if I were you and I wanted the Essential, I would still call and find out because it seems like they're changing things every day. It is software. Now let's get back to the video. Here are the four best ways to use the basic and Essential plans. And one is to optimize your file sizes. All of your photos should be low resolution. Most headshot photographers will give you high resolution for printing and also low resolution for actor submission sites. You also wanna keep your video files, your reels, uh, smaller files, and also your self-tape auditions. Number two is film quality. I tend to film my auditions in 1080 or 4K so that the quality remains superior when I compress the file, which leads us into number three, compressing. So after you edit your video, you wanna compress it to 720p to reduce the file size while also maintaining the quality. And then there's number four, which is archiving and deletion. So archive all those old photos that you're not using on your profile and delete all of those audition uploads that you have because they take up a lot of space. However, Here's where Casting Networks get slick. They have what's called a 21 day retention, which means you can't delete any videos from your uh, profile until after 21 days. 
And so that's one of the things that's talked about in the lawsuit. And it's kind of their way of still holding that space where then we'll have to upgrade. But we're going to try to be really smart about not upgrading. Um, and also keep in mind that self-tape for commercials, we're pretty much back in the room. There's not as many self-tape auditions as there are theatrical. But also, let me see, I had another thought. But also it's kind of slow right now commercially. So we don't have to worry about that. But all of that doesn't matter because most agents are, are really mindful and making sure that they have a way for us to submit our, our self-tape auditions to them. So if, you're, if your agent hasn't already expressed to you a way to do that, contact them, at, let them know that you're out of storage, it's not letting you upload um, your, your file, and ask them how you can send the footage to them and have them self submit on your behalf. Also, if you don't have an agent, but you have a contact for the casting director, reach out to them and ask them if there's another way that you can submit to them because Casting Networks is requiring you to upgrade and pay more money to submit a self-tape. Now, let's look at how I use my essential plan. Let's take a look at my profile. As I mentioned before, or numerous times, I am in the essential that doesn't seem to exist anymore. But with the Essential, I have one gigabyte of storage, swappable storage. And as you can see, I'm already using 625 megabytes. However, let's pay attention to how many photos I have. I have 31.79 megabytes of photos. If we look at this yellow part here, these are my videos. This is what's consuming the bulk of my storage, which I'm fine with because I like to be able to have my demo reels showcase my work. Right here, this is my drama reel. You see it's taken up 269 megabytes. We're talking about 252, almost three minutes here. This footage is 720p, so it doesn't take up a whole lot of space, but it shows the casting directors or whoever is looking at my profile what I can do dramatically. Then we can come over here to my comedy reel. I'm taking up 138 megabytes here. I have about two minutes there. You see the quality, this is 720p. The quality is still great. So have a special skill, which is me singing soprano, and that's taking up 186 megabytes. If I go here, this is taking up, this is about two and a half minutes quality is still great at 720p. So this is just proof that when you upload your reels, you can use a small compressed file at 720 and still have really great quality. What I, oh, I also have some audio, I have some voiceovers here, but that doesn't take up a whole lot of space, but I really want to focus on the videos. So now say if you're on the basic, you can easily do a two minute video at 720p with 138 megabytes. And that would still give you, oh, about, um, if, you, if you have 350 megabytes in the basic, you would still have about 200 megabytes to play around with. And I'm gonna show you my photos. If you're using 31 megabytes of photos, then that means you would still have like 140, 160, 160 megabytes for self-tape videos, for self-tape auditions. So the basic is perfect. And I'm going to show you how many photos I have. So when we look at my profile, this is how I'm set up. This is my, my agency profile. I have my agency profile and I have a personal, but we're gonna look at my agency because they require a lot of photos. So how I have this set up is my primary photo. Over here is my drama reel that we already looked at. And then we have my comedy reel, which we already looked at. And when you come down here, you see how many photos I have that my commercial agent actually uses the bulk of these. And this is only taking up 39 megabytes of space because they're all low res photos. And so low res photos uh, that I'm using, they're about 243 kilobytes, but these are still great quality. And then my resume is down here, which, you know, the resume doesn't take up a whole lot of space. The main thing that, that we want to focus on is the reels and looking at how much storage you're occupying with videos. You can have a basic plan and you can have a lot of photos. You can have one reel that's under 150 megabytes and you can still have storage, swappable storage. 
to um, house your self-tape auditions. And then after 21 days, you can delete those auditions. I don't have anything here to delete, so I can't show you that. But if I, every, every time I do a self-tape audition, as soon as that 21 days is up, I delete it. You can do a basic profile for free and not have to worry about going over. And all you have to do is just manage your profile wisely, keeping everything at minimums and using low resolution photos. You can do a basic plan for free. And if you're uncertain about anything before making a major decision to downgrade or register for a new plan, contact Casting Networks directly and just find out all of your options. So I hope that that was helpful. If you learned anything new or if you like this content, please take a moment to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and also check out Acting Lessons Learned, the podcast where I share more personal stories about my journey as an actor in Los Angeles. And um, here are a couple other videos that you can check out and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.